Beautiful Scorpios, and welcome to your weekly reading for July 31st to August 7th. This reading can resonate for anyone who has strong Scorpio placements in their chart. Keep in mind, time is fluid, and let's get started and into it. Let's see what the overall energy is for your week. Scorpio, and you have the world. Be open to new possibilities in all areas of your life. All right, Scorpio, with the energy of the world. So Spirit is indicating that there are new things coming your way. There are new possibilities, new openings. And with the world energy coming through, some of you may find that there is a lot of new energy in multiple areas of your life. Not just one area of your life. With this card, it's indicating that it's more than one. So, Scorpio, let's look into it and see what your tarot spread is and see what's going on for the week for you, Scorpio. All right. Here we go. We have the Five of Swords, the Ten of Swords, and Justice. Your possible challenge for the week is the Emperor... And your, um, I'm sorry, your outcome is the Hierophant. All right, so you definitely have a blessing coming in with the outcome being the Hierophant. I feel like for some of you with the Five of Swords to the Ten of Swords, some of you may have gone through some nasty endings here or possible difficult arguments or I feel like for some of you, you may have found it that you and another individual just weren't really on the same page. That's the type of energy I'm feeling from this. Like it was, may have, Felt very difficult to get on the same page with somebody here. But with justice coming in, there's definitely a reward coming your way. It could definitely be in this situation. It could definitely be some of you are in um, some sort of court situation. Some of you may be receiving the outcome that you are looking for. Your possible challenge this week is the emperor. So this could be a father figure that's challenging you somehow, some way could be a superior or authority figure that could cause a bit of challenge for you or you feel challenged by. Others of you, your challenge could actually be taking action on something or being a very assertive and initiative. And your outcome is the Hierophant. So spiritual blessing coming your way. Spirit is definitely here to give you a blessing, Scorpio. So let's clarify this. And get more details. This is for Scorpio. This is for Scorpio. All right. On the Five of Swords, we have the Ace of Cups. On the Ten of Swords, we have the Lovers. On Justice, we have the Queen of Wands. The challenge with the Emperor is the Page of Wands. And the Hierophant with your outcome and the Seven of Wands. Okay. Some of you, there's definitely a renewal to your love life here. I feel like with the Ace of Cups here, we also have the Lovers. Definitely could be a reconciliation with... Sorry, I cannot show that card. Ugh. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. All right. Some cards I just cannot show on the screen because they have slight nudity. And I'm not trying to get age-restricted on all my videos. Anyways... So some of you definitely renewed sense of love coming your way with the lovers. Definitely could be a reconciliation type of energy. Others of you, this is definitely a strong soulmate coming in. But the Queen of Wands to Justice, I definitely feel like this person is assertive. I definitely feel like this individual is somebody who goes for what they want. They have a lot of confidence. They have a lot of creative energy. Um, so I feel like you definitely could be attracting in somebody new here, Scorpio, or just a totally new cycle with somebody here. Um, that probably makes sense as to why the Emperor and the Page of Wands is here. Your challenge is being assertive. Your challenge could possibly be stepping into some childlike energy where you may naturally be pretty standoffish with love or not that emotional or not that exciting type energy. Um, with the Page of Wands, that's being excited. That's being flirty. That's being, you know enthusiastic about the situation so that could be your challenge here you may have been burned and bruised by this individual or by love in general with the five of swords and we have the hierophant to the seven of wands so this is a blessing but i get you struggling with it so 
Um, there definitely could be a little bit of difficulty revolving, opening up emotionally. But you definitely have a new possibility, specifically in your love life. And I also do feel like in your financial life, some of you may be asked to be a leader or a boss of a situation, or you do have to lead, or you know, like if... A boss goes on vacation and then like the manager is or the next step up of who has to take care of things. Some of you may find yourself in that situation as well. Um, keep it in mind, this is open to new possibilities in all areas of your life. So I don't really necessarily feel like that messes or that changes your storyline of love. I almost just feel like that's an additional type of energy that's presenting itself to you where some of you may be getting placed in the lead of something here. Or taking over something because either someone is away or they just put you in charge of something. Doesn't have to necessarily be that they're away. Please clarify this spread here for Scorpio. So on the Ace of Cups, we have the Eight of Swords, the Lovers, so the Five of Wands, the Queen of Wands, the Eight of Moon. Okay, yeah. So I feel like, Scorpio, there's definitely some sort of love coming your way. But I feel like there was either a lot of drama with this person or just a lot of difficulty with this individual. Could be that, like, friends and family know of this person and they're just kind of like a little bit of standoff energy where other people don't want to, like, see you together type of thing. Clarify this. Seven of Swords, Strength. To the eight of wands all right so i feel like despite what other people think i really do feel like for a lot of you whatever love this is i feel like it definitely creates some overthinking for you here but with the eight of wands i feel like there could be some sort of taking off for this connection where there was usual avoidance with love there was usual pull back from love and there actually be may, there may be more of a situation where both of you are actually like all right well let's see where this could go again or let's see where this could go where you may have ultimately decided to avoid it or not give it a full chance clarify this once more for Scorpio four of pentacles Queen of Cups, and the Hanged Man. Yeah, there could finally be like an unstick to a situation here. You may have felt very stuck with somebody and you just really never knew where you two were going. Are things over? Will things get reconciled? Page of Cups, Ten of Cups, and the Six of Wands. But ultimately, it looks like you and this individual are striving forward. It's definitely looking like Spirit is giving a chance for you in your love life and or a chance for you to show where you work, that you can handle taking on big responsibilities. It's going to be different for all of you. Some of you may resonate to both of those storylines. Some of you may only resonate to one. But this is a weekly, so come back and let me know what happens. So, in terms of zodiac signs in this spread, you have Taurus, you have Aries, you have Libra, you got Gemini, you have Pisces, very strongly here, and Leo. So let's see what your ending oracle is here for you, Scorpio. I will be reading the interpretation from the book. This is from the Astro Star Codes Oracle. And your ending oracle, your ending oracle, your, yeah, I guess your ending oracle is card number 33, South Node with Past. All right, so I definitely feel you're getting a second chance to renew a certain energy or like do something differently. This time around with whatever offers are being given to you. Card number 33, pay attention to the number three around this time. South Node, here we go. The South Node describes what you bring along from past lives. Your skills, addictions, weaknesses, unfinished business, and a physical place within your body where you may hold tension or ancient karmic stories. The Lunar Nodes are the points of the, on the zodiac where the moon's orbit crosses the ecliptic. When the moon, sun, and earth exactly line up here, a shadow mysteriously covers the sun or moon and creates an eclipse. The ancients thought a giant creature cast those shadows and referred to the nose as the head and tail of a dragon. Where the moon descended towards the south is the dragon's tail. Your action with this card is this situation has its roots in some past karmic pattern. 
the origins of which are not clear. You may need to apply skills that you were born with or look again at old problems and work to heal them. The situation feels hauntingly familiar, but without a story to go with it, echoing traces from another time or life. Your challenge with this card is under stress. You may fall back on familiar defenses and relive what you've always lived. Your gift with this card is that you could use this opportunity to heal triggers and patterns from the past, take them as teaching moments, and learn. Then your hard-earned skills and wisdom can help you build your future. So, this is what I have here for you, my beautiful, wonderful Scorpios. For the month of July, August, and September, we have blessed bracelets going in any kit purchased off my Etsy shop. You can customize this kit to your zodiac sign of Scorpio. There is a drop down where you can choose uh, all 12 zodiac signs. All you got to do is click on Scorpio and you will receive um, a customization of your sign. So, for example, Scorpio, we have these lunar type of constellations. So this one is Scorpio. Stickers going in, as well as other goodies. If you want to decide which color, I'll show you other bracelets, what color bracelet you specifically want, you can put it in the note to seller, which is me. And if I have the color you're looking for, I will absolutely put it in. These are two white ones and a pink evil eye. These are blessed bracelets. You make a wish on these bracelets, and once your tie alleviates and breaks, your wish is bound to come true. So thank you, my beautiful, wonderful Scorpios. I love you all so, so very much. Do not forget to subscribe, ring that bell to all. We are back um, and on this main channel actively, and I'll see and talk to all of y'all very, very soon. Bye now.